Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim. Just got back from a huge, huge successful flea market and garage sale run. Um, I've got this kind of divided up into multiple parts because there's just so many cool things. So um, yeah, I will, I'm going to flip the camera so I can just slide through things underneath uh, because there's just so many things i've got things divided up by fast food by hero and by vhs tapes and i've got a stack of vhs tapes i got so lucky today so let's transition all right i'm going to start with just random stuff everything i picked up was a dollar or less i got this um casper the ghost and i don't know what this is from but it feels like this is like part of a package like it was part of a package of some sort um i got that and it came with this view master that has this clued on i don't know why but the reason why it was together as a set was because it's the casper um view master cartridge and so that's cool I don't know what this is, but yeah. Um, so I got this Captain America Bendy, which is pretty cool. I had these all a long time ago. And there was there was a uh, Adam West Batman uh, 1966 Bendy. I picked that up. Um, there was a Hob Goblin. Happy Meal toy. Um, I just kind of picked that up to round off my purchase, even though I do like the Hobgoblin. And this was a fun Happy Meal toy. I don't know if you can see, but the wings move. Um, let's see. I got this Batman. Really not good condition mug. Uh, it has Batman down in there. Um, I don't know what this is from, but it's severely water damaged and it has some cracks but the guy just wanted to get rid of it and he kind of threw it in um, when I bought this Darkwing Duck minifigure uh, this would be Mega Duck I think was what he was called but I do have a Darkwing Duck collection so it was very exciting to find that and then at another table I found one of these old cereal toys um, of Darkwing Duck. And then at another table, the one Funko Pop I don't have of the set, they had Luce. And uh, I can't remember what her name is, but she was like definitely the bad guy, bad person, bad duck, one of the villains. Um, so I'm very excited to get that. And this was, I think, $3.00. Might have been one of the more expensive things I bought today. And then for a dollar, I found this Spider-Mobile Hot Wheel car, and it's in great shape. And uh, I never got this the first time around. Um, so, yeah, I don't normally collect Hot Wheels unless they're Batmobiles, but I made the exception. And actually, a dollar at this point is less than like reach out because um like i think walmart and target have them for like a dollar 18 or a dollar 12 and the dollar stores are a dollar 25 so i found that to be a really good deal all right so to the fast food stuff i've been on like a real good um luck good streak and uh this is one of the og mcnuggets when they had a Halloween themed uh, thing. I do have this one already, but I picked it up anyways. And that's what happens when you get kind of sucked in. This is one of those silly versions that they did for the adult Happy Meals a year or two ago. Um, it's funny now because these skyrocketed in value like crazy, but the past two weeks in a row, I picked one up each for a dollar. I got Grimace last week, and uh, I don't know what this guy's name is, but definitely going to go down into the fast food collection. I bought this yellow um, 
fry girl with the skates for a quarter and I wished I would have waited because just a little bit further down was a vendor that was selling the set of them for three dollars and the crazy thing is that these each have their little disguises um so yeah that's super cool um so here's the red one had a pirate hat and here's like a teal one in the pajamas with the little bunny slippers and the yellow girl was the uh, witch hat, I think, maybe, or the witch hat goes to something else. That's not fitting perfectly. Oh, you know what? There's a there's a, another color, a purple color, and I bet you this goes to that one. And I got that last week, so I think there was one, two, three, four, and then I got a purple one. Maybe that's all five of them. That was pretty good pickup for three bucks. So with fast food toys, I only buy them when they're like the branded um, McDonald's or whatever. I don't know how that lady talked me into picking these up. Um, but these were like Transformer kind of deals where you could turn the, uh, I, I don't know, it's a McDonald's. It looks like it's a steak and it's got the M on it. So that's how I kind of justified it. This is the little milk carton, same deal. You could <laughs> transform it into, uh, I don't know, like she's doing a workout. I don't know. Sometimes I get kind of sucked into buying things because of the adrenaline rush. Does that happen to anybody else? So here is the Burger King Kids Club football with the McDonald's coloring. And um, there's my little big league membership entry. Um, I got this cool chicken tenders. I believe this is Burger King. Uh, it doesn't say. It might be Burger King. It's not McDonald's. Got this McDonald's hot rod. Um, these are cool. There's some duplicates in here, so, um, but it's this cool, um, Hamburglar. I don't know what he sat on, but he definitely is missing part of whatever he was with. These are birdie. And I think these were part of a Halloween costume. Um, I have more of these now than I'll ever need. Um, the reason why I picked it up was for this Hamburglar and this car. Um, so these are pretty cool. I do like those. And then the coolest part, again, um, usually I only get the branded toys. I don't know if this was part of a, a toy set or the actual... Happy Meal, but that was that. Here is some sort of a sandwich. I'm going to guess this is Burger King. Little, little dirty. Might have to clean that up a little bit. Here is a piece of pie. And this is a milkshake. And that's also some sort of a transformer. But yeah, so that was uh, that. And then the last kind of fast food type thing is this Chuck E. Cheese lunch pal. Kind of cool. Another like 50 cent item that I just had to have. All right, we're going to switch the angles again. Hi, welcome back. Uh, I know that was just split seconds for you, but this is going to be the VHS portion of this. I'm going to start with the garage sale stuff. It's the stuff that I picked up just literally minutes before filming this video. Uh, one of my neighbors down the street 
uh, decided to do a yard sale and I went down. Um, I picked up this two pack of Stephen King's Rose Red. I'm actually going to just take this right off. Um, so this was a made for TV movie, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember ever seeing it um, in this form. So looking forward to checking this out. Uh, they also had a fun Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren. And this is a good one. Frank Langella. Hopefully someday we'll get like a proper Masters of the Universe movie. I uh, had to pick this up. It's one of those deals where you can't have enough copies of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And yeah, it's a little beat up, but you know, I'm buying VHS tapes for so cheap right now. It's not even funny. It's been a great year for pickups. Um, and then there's this, the Dark Crystal, which is really cool to see out in the wild. This has the green clamshell. This is a, a classic Disney movie, Henson Studios, all that good stuff. That was from the neighbors, the garage sale. And he said, sorry, he was keeping all the horror VHS that he had. Um, so now this is all flea market. And we'll start right off with one of the biggest horror movies a kid can ever watch, Return to Oz. And uh, this has a really cool clamshell. Um, it's got this little postcard in it. I was really impressed to see that was still there. Um, I don't know if there was a set of postcards, and I just got lucky with one. Um, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments down below. But definitely something cool to have. I didn't actually have a copy of this, so happy to pick this up. Uh, let's see. In no particular order, we've got Terror of Mecha Godzilla. And uh, always cool to find kaiju out in the wild. I don't really own a lot of kaiju, but I do own a lot of Halloween too. And ah, it's so dumb because like how many copies I'm looking at two copies right from here. Plus now this one, and I just keep picking them up. I don't know why it's because they're a dollar and I'm just a hoarder. Here's one I didn't have that I'm happy to get Christine. This is one of my favorite Stephen King movies. It's a great coming of age movie about a boy bonding with his vehicle. And, you know, as a man, I can relate to that bond you get with your first car. It truly is your first love, first and foremost, between mom and girlfriends. So, Christine, it's a must-watch if you've never seen it. Hopefully they will never remake that movie. If they have, please don't let me know because I don't want to see it. Um, this is another movie I didn't know existed. Francis Ford Coppola did a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, very strange. 2001, I think, maybe. Um, but very interesting. I do like uh, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And, yeah, this is um, Adam Baldwin as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, here's a cool one that I didn't own before, Salem's Lot. This was a real happy find. Um, the Ultimate in Terror, Salem's Lot. Now, I'm sure there's been so many releases of this on VHS that this is just one of many covers. I like this cover a lot. Um, this movie is really good. Glad to have found that. Let's see, The Old Dark House. This is a nice... Boris Karloff pickup, kind of a lesser known of the Boris Karloff era of movies, but a good one nonetheless. Let's see. Oh, I picked up another copy of <laughs> Escape from Witch Mountain. I, again, I've got copies of this already. I still remember the first time I found it. I was so excited, and yet here I am still buying it. Um, and before we get to our last three, which are animated, Dracula 2000. Um, this is a Wes Craven film. Yeah, Wes Craven's Dracula 2000. I almost said John Carpenter. Did John Carpenter do a vampire movie? For some reason, I think he did. But I don't know. This is the Wes Craven one. The Wes Carpenter version. Um, it's okay. It's not one of my favorite, but 
kind of a nice, fun, modern vampire Dracula movie. All right, and then I picked up three animated other... I don't think I had any other animated ones, but I got Winnie the Pooh, Spookable Pooh. Um, wouldn't normally buy anything Winnie the Pooh, but definitely the Halloween theme to my collection. This fits in very well. And this is just a random um, Amazing Spider-Man I think this is from the uh, 90s series. Not really sure. But still fun to have. I only picked this up to round out my purchase to $5. Uh, <laughs> and then this really cool last find um, is Disney Witcheroo. And this is like a just a couple of episodes of different um, Halloween-themed uh episodes shows from like darkwing duck ducktales and whatnot and that's why i picked this up because of the darkwing duck i am a darkwing duck collector and it's interesting to find stuff and now if you look at this right here this lady i think she's part of this character maybe that maybe not they don't look quite the same well maybe it is it's got that purple eyeliner at any rate, that's it for VHS. I did pick up a DVD. I don't buy DVDs anymore. Full disclosure, I plan on listing this on eBay, and I'm not normally like that, but I do sell things on eBay from time to time. I actually started an account in 1999. I've sold over 1,200 items on eBay. So I did pick up this really nice-looking copy of the Fat Albert um, Greatest it's the ultimate collection. I think this is like all of the uh, animated series of the Fat Albert show, which I do remember as a kid growing up to watching. And I also lived in the inner city. So this was really kind of a thing back then. And despite all of whatever Bill Cosby went through and did and didn't do, drugged and raped and whoever else, whatever, uh, this was still a cool find, and full disclosure, I did buy it only to resell it, and I'm not trying to be like that guy. When I buy stuff, it's typically to just have in my own collection, but every once in a while, I pick up something with the intent of reselling, and this is it. Um, but that's going to do it. Another really huge... And there's even stuff I didn't include in this because I'm going to just make its own separate uh, video because it's all one theme. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, have you been out flea marketing or garage sailing uh, this year? Because I don't know, I'm having like way better luck than I've had in the past two years. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below.